आई एम डॉक्टर शर्जील एंड वी आर वॉचिंग द ओ सी टी सीरीज सो वी शुड कंटिन्यू फ्राम वेयर वी लेफ्ट नाउ इन आर्डर टू असेस द वास्कुलरिटी ऑफ द रेटिना लुक एट द इन इनर रेटिनल लेयर्स इन एक्यूट सीवियर कंडीशंस लाइक सेंट्रल रेटिनल आर्टली एक्लूजन यू विल सी थिक एंड हाइपर रिफ्लेक्टिव इनर रेटिना एज is shown here so the first oct shows central retinal artery occlusion fluid often accumulates in the outer retina now in second oct you can see that something is not good at the outer retina the rp is elevated that is called pigment epithelial detachment and around it is a subretinal hypo reflective fluid and if you look under the dome there is some hyper reflective material stacked up now that is active type 1 cnv presence of fluid makes it active and as cnv is present above the brooks membrane but below the rpe that makes it type 1 now in the third oct there is a dome shaped elevation of the retina with loss of foveal depression hyporeflective intraretinal fluid filled cysts and subretinal hyperreflective material located above the split rpe now this is type 2 choroidal neovascularization being present above the rpe and below the sensory retina now in the fourth oct you can appreciate the area of hyper reflectivity in the outer retina overlying pigment epithelium detachment the intra retinal cyst are also seen and soft drusen now this is the proliferation of abnormal vessels within the retinal tissue called retinal angiomatosis uh, prolif uh, proliferation or rap now this is type 3 cnv usually associated with exudative amd in fifth oct the hyper reflective material is subretinal hemorrhage along with hyper reflective fluid with large pd now this is hemorrhagic cnv in sixth oct you can appreciate the white hyper reflective fibrotic material present in the subretinal space now that is discform scar there is loss of photoreceptor layers above the scar you can also appreciate the shadowing underneath the scar in seventh oct you can see a classic dome shaped serous detachment of neurosensory retina with hyporeflective space and also a small pd now this is oct of central serous chorioretinopathy in eighth oct scan scan appears normal but if you look closely there is parafoveal outer retinal thinning and disruption of ellipsoid zone signs are more evident temporally than nasally this is hydroxychloroquine toxicity shown in ninth oct you can see the absence of the foveal depression now it is not erm looks layers beneath ilm there is no stretching or traction now this is oct of albinism and classical finding is severe blunting of the foveal depression in 10th oct you can see a regular wave like pattern of rpe that shows chorioretinal folds in posterior scleritis patient now in the last oct you can appreciate the focal disruption or loss of rpe and ellipsoid zone with a vertical band like hyper reflective material and sharply demarcated borders with adjacent normal retina now this is solar retinopathy so i hope uh, after watching the oct series uh, you have learned something new about the oct macula thank you very much